dawn of my channel I have had incredibly curly hair and for the same length of time a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a curly hair care routine and the wait is over. As the majority of you know, I recently cut 17 inches of my hair off to donate to the Little Princess Trust and to raise money for Great Ormond Street Hospital Children's Charity. I'm still getting to grips with having very, very short hair, but I have always had incredibly curly hair since the age of about 14 when I stopped using my straighteners and realized just how curly my hair was. So without further ado, here is how I do my hair. Firstly, I promise you I am not sponsored by Lush. I just really, really love and use a lot of their products. I have a couple different shampoos that I like to mix and match between, the first of which being Daddy-O, which is bright purple and it smells like Parma violets because it's made out of violets and fresh lemons. I also have Curly Whirly for very obvious reasons, which I shall be using in this video, which is the coconuttiest smelling thing in the world. The conditioner that I'm using is a new one, I've only used it once or twice before, but it's called American Cream. It smells like vanilla and strawberry milkshake, and it's really thick but doesn't weigh down your hair, so it's perfect. Obviously, when you run yourself a bubble bath, the first thing you do is play with the bubbles. Then I take a little bit of my Curly Whirly shampoo and get to shampooing like you usually would. This shampoo has lots of little coconut flakes in it, but don't worry, they rinse out and leave your hair smelling incredible. days after shampooing, I like to take a moment just to mourn the loss of the 17 inches of hair that I cut off. But hey, we've raised over £16,000 so far for Great Ormond Street Hospital, so it's all for a good cause. Then I get to conditioning with the American Cream Conditioner and they say to apply a generous amount. to leave my conditioner in my hair for like five or ten minutes before I rinse it out so whilst I'm waiting I take another one of my Lush products I swear I'm not sponsored which is a face scrub called let the good times roll and it smells exactly like popcorn but it's so brilliant I really can't recommend this enough and then I rinse Once I'm out the bath and dried off and I'm in my PJs, I do what any normal person would do when holding a hairbrush when music is playing. <laughs> to stop my hair from going frizzy when it's dry, I put mousse in it when it's wet. Now I have tried a lot of different varieties of hair mousse and to be honest they all kind of do the same thing some are slightly better than others but there isn't a huge amount of difference in it so I usually just go for the cheapest option and today I'm using one from Morrison's which is also cruelty free so I give it a shake put it onto my hairbrush like toothpaste and then brush it into my hair Once I have a thin, even cover all over my hair, I get to drying. Now the big pink thing on the end of my dryer, that's called a diffuser. A diffuser spreads out the jet of air more evenly through lots of little holes, so your curls are more defined and they go less frizzy. It is a curly haired lifesaver and I strongly recommend that you get one if you have very curly hair. Once my hair is dry, I use a couple drops of John Frieda's Frizzies Perfect Finish Polishing Serum. I've looked online and I can't find out whether this is cruelty free or not. I will update you when I find out an answer. I really hope it is because it's great, but if it isn't, I will be finding an alternative. So there we have it. That is how I deal with my very curly short hair. I hope you enjoyed this and I shall see you very soon. Extra bonus Epcot video. Woo! Pete and I are about to embark on the Extravaganza 2016, which is an Easter egg hunt. 